one of the things that Stephanie and I do to find real, real, real ideas and things that are trending too, right? Um, is we just go to the reels, you know, what's in our real feed and the things that we like, we'll save, we'll save the audio. Yesterday, we talked about how to save an audio from an existing reel and then use it in your own reel, right? And recreate it. I will get that posted. I'll post that, okay? We recorded it, Barb. So I'm not going to go over that today, but I will show you. I'll show you the reel that we did today. And basically, we saw this. We were up to like midnight, like for an hour, just looking at reels and laughing, you know, our heads off. Um, yeah, there were a bunch that were maybe, yeah, that we couldn't do, obviously, for various reasons, uh, either our modesty or our religious beliefs or just good taste. But, um, but there was this one that was just kind of unique, right? And so I'll show it to you. Every time you get dressed, remember that if you die, that will be your forever ghost outfit. Every That's time it, you get dressed, right? remember that if you die, that will be your forever ghost outfit. Every so time you get dressed. We had fun with that. It was cute. We were able to do it together. We saw, we saw a lady who was like, you know, cleaning her house and just, you know, just looked not done up. And we thought that'd be fun. How can we do that? And then, you know, number one, like my number one criteria is, is it fun? So is it entertaining? Is it educational? Is it inspirational? Though, like if it, I use that as a guide for my meet my social media content. Cause if it's not like, if it's not one of those three, why are you doing this? <laughs> right? So Sometimes you think, well, that's funny, but then how do I apply it to the business? And my, my gut feeling is have your, have your avatar in mind, right? Have your avatar in mind. Part of my thought is I'm going to leverage more credibility when, when bright, successful, energetic women see me and my wife together, okay? Because they're going to know that I'm a man that can relate to women, right? We're having fun. She's got a smile on her face. So that, I've got that in mind. Okay, what do I do with the what do I do with the um, the the text, right? The caption. That's what they call it. What do I do with the caption? Like, what do you do with that? It was just funny. It was just funny. You know, we had a, we and by the way, we brainstormed. How do we do it? Do we not change? Do we change? Do one of us change? One of us looks great, one of us doesn't. I'm in tights. You're in your, you know, your one piece. She has Stephanie has this awesome one piece uh pajamas that just is like so crunchy frumpy it's just cute it's cute because it's just so like, i don't care what anybody so we ended up where we ended up so do we just leave it at funny it would have been okay if we just left it at funny i'm cool with that because people follow you people fall are attracted to you because you're funny the next time you're funny maybe they're going to show up you know it's not like <laughs> you don't tell jokes so that then you can, can <laughs> you don't tell jokes to people like in real life so that you can turn around and get them interested in protein yeah, so you tell a funny joke and that leads me, you know, that joke about just how funny life is leads me to just how important it is that we really take care of our lives and we activate our health and we actually have this product called Protan. Uh, no, no, that's where you take the selfie stick and you gag yourself. Do not do that. Okay. Um, so, but I did just part of my creative mind, what I wrote on that eel was because this little idea kept, this, little, dressed, this little this little idea is like hey no matter what you're wearing no matter what your fashion whatever you may portray on the outside what really counts is what's on the inside your heart your mind your values your core beliefs invest in you to become the best inside you are beautiful you are enough you are resilient that's it okay i didn't even think of that until i'd already posted until we'd already recorded this video it was fun I did it because it was fun. And then I was able to turn it into, oh, on the back end, the caption has a little inspiration to it, right? Hey, that's cool. So then I put a bunch of hashtags, okay? What hashtags did I put here? The hashtags I use for every post, by the way, CEO Women for Life. I just started using that one because I like the way it, life, life vantage. I just, I like the way it sounds. CEO women on the move, creating entrepreneurs online. 
I do all three of those all the time. I forgot to do, because it was a little, the new hashtag that I'm recommending you put, and that is hashtag activate wellness. Okay. That's on the new shirts. That's good. You're going to hear that at activate. Okay. We're going to jump on that. I, it's so it's general enough that nobody has to have inside insider information to understand that what activate wellness. I mean, you kind of get it right, but nobody really understands what activate is the brilliance of that. Everybody knows the word activate and what it should mean. Nobody really knows in the world what we're the, the brand of activating that we're bringing. So we're going to start from the known and expand to the unknown, right? That's a brilliant strategy. Instead of starting from what nobody knows and everything's cryptic and nobody knows it, but let me wait, 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 let me explain how amazing this message that you have to hear. You lost me. You lost me before. Hello. Right. Other. <laughs> And, and I'm not really being super strategic. I, I think in my hashtags, I've got a lot to learn there, but I'm going to use some. It, it takes me two minutes, okay? I'm thinking about the messages because, again, I want to use these hashtags, hopefully, to give me some visibility in the areas that this message might find my ideal client, right? Let me give you an example. What not to do, post a video, <clears throat> pardon me, uh, post a video of me fishing in my camouflage gear out on the river and then i hashtag hollywood red carpet okay because if i do hollywood red carpet i'm i'm in the fashion world i'm in the hollywood world i'm in the lamborghinis and you know in the bentley's world it's going to take me a long time to find the the girl who has interest in a mermaid skirt you saw a little mermaid today and fishing. Actually, I, I guess that would have been my wife because she's both, right? But if I if I hashtag if I hashtag backcountry fishing on my fishing reel, then I'm more likely to probably get right. Or if I hashtag women who fish or hashtag outfitter women, right? Same, you know. So here's what I did for this post. And I don't know if this is good, bad, or ugly, but uh, women supporting women, women in biz, women in business, social media marketing, social media tips, boss babe, boss lady, work from home, work from work from home mom, work from home life, working mom. I just like I was I was totally non strategic. Other than hey, I might be. Oh yeah, those are they have you know they're not. I don't use ones that are say fewer than a hundred or fewer than a thousand, right? When you tap type in the hashtag, it'll tell you how much traction. So, so there's a little strategy, but not tons. So now I'm going through the likes. I look here and, you know, I don't get too involved in, <laughs> okay, so funny. So he's talking about camouflage and girls and the first picture on my Instagram <laughs> is about, is a family with two teenage girls in camo and semi-automatic weapons. Awesome. It says, this is America. DC Drano, if you know who DC Drano is. Um, anyway, so I look at that. I, I'm looking, we posted that an hour ago. Interesting. I've got, I've got 464 views on that reel in an hour, which actually is beating, is more than the last two reels that I've done, by the way, that's been up for two to four days. Interesting, interesting. I should have tagged Stephanie in this. That's another thing I forgot to do. I should have tagged to get more exposure. Um, but so I'm looking here at the at at the likes and the comments. Oh, okay. So <laughs> interestingly enough, one of the girls that I nurtured today and sent a message to. She's already seen it. She liked it. Um, this lady named Paige. I don't know who Paige is, so I click on it. And it's this lady who looks like she's got a family. She's not an influencer, okay? But I'm going to reach out to her. So I message her and I say, and I've got this, I've got this first paragraph pre-programmed, right? Through text replacement. I type her name, exclamation point. Then I type IGF for IG follow, Instagram follow, IGFOL. And when I type that, it pre-populates this message, which I modified a little. Hey, so page, exclamation point, everything else, this is predetermined. Hey, Seth here, dot, dot, dot. 
just wanted to say thanks a lot for your time and attention, dot, dot, dot. We all have a lot going on. So I super appreciate the love on our reel today, exclamation point. Looking forward to connecting and finding out more about your world, exclamation point. That's the whole thing, right? Boom, send it. <laughs> then I typed in, from what I see on Instagram, looks like you have a beautiful family. Send. Stephanie and I are, and I spelled Stephanie wrong. Auto, auto insert. Stephanie and I are, I hope Stephanie doesn't look, check my messages. Stephanie and I are here in Utah. We have a blended family with 10 kids. Send. By the way, what part of this beautiful world do you call home? Send. Okay. So that's cool. I look at, and I don't know how I connected with this lady, right? I, she doesn't follow me. And she doesn't follow me on Instagram. And she didn't follow me, by the way. She only liked it. So that's why I'm going to take, I'm going to try to take something, you know, it took me less than a minute to do that. Somebody who saw me liked what I did. They gave a little love. So I'm just going to give a little back and I'm going to see if they come back. If they come back, I'm, it's done, right? They don't come back and reply to this. I'm not, I, I rarely, you know, unless she likes another three of them. And I'm like, well, I'll message. Oh, this is the lady that I, that I already messaged because she liked. And now she's like three other things. Now I could say, Paige, you're in nomination for uh, the best supporting raving fan of our, of our reels, because you see what I'm saying? You're going to take that and escalate it. They give, you give. I gave, they gave. I made the reel, put a smile on their face. They gave, right? I reached back. Hey, you got a good family. Here's mine. What about yours? They, they don't give. We're done. They gave, you know, they come back and like me three more times. They gave, I'm going to give. So, um, Another one of those, same thing, don't know them. Uh, wellness matters, you matter. Amazing, beautiful lady named Barbara. Exactly. I said, thanks. Um, I go down some of my Philippines group, Jane Rizzo, some of my Japan group. Uh, and then, uh-oh, where'd it go? I had somebody. There was another lady. And I, now I don't even know where, birth boot camp. I have no idea who birth boot camp is. Okay. So this lady named. Okay. Okay. Birth boot camp. This lady, she's got, uh, that's her deal. So you can say, and this lady's not just a casual Facebook user, a ca casual Instagram user. Birth boot camp, 2,300 posts, 3,000 followers, following 1,000 people herself. Birth boot camp, we prepare couples for an amazing birth and breastfeeding experience, online and in-person birth classes, training birth professionals. Interesting. And she's got 3,000 posts. This girl's serious, probably 2,000 posts, serious about her business, isn't she? And now, so, so Seth, um, Marcy, yeah. there's several people under Marcy Steiner that they're, they're all birthing people. Yeah. So I don't know how I got connected to her, but maybe it was my hashtags. Maybe it was just the reels. Like, I don't know, but I'm going to reach out to her and I'm going to give this one a little more attention. Why? Because there's a market there. <laughs> she, she, she's serious. Okay, let's like go back to the days when, <laughs> the days when you were, when you were not married. I was going to say when you were single, right? And I'm laughing, I'm laughing just at, at you know, what that means. You know, I mean, because not too long ago, I was single, right? So I'm not just talking about 16 year olds. I mean, we just, none of us know what's going on in, in, in all of our lives, right? Some of you know what that means, right? So, um, so I'm thinking to myself, so here's what this means. When you're at a singles event and you're single, say you're at a dance, that's where I'd be, where I met Stephanie, and you smile at somebody and they smile back, there may be attention, you know, you might give some attention there. When somebody you're interested in or you're attracted to or you think is cute or handsome or you like their personality you've been watching and they smile back, you put more attention back into that than you do to, you know, to somebody else, right? And, and is it selfish? Well, it's self-interest. Listen, you pair up with people that you like, that's okay, right? Not is only is that okay, that's the way to happiness. So some self-interest is a path to happiness in life, by the way. So 
she has more to offer. She has more to offer, right? Because I can see she's already active in the business, in some sort of business. So I got that birth boot camp. Um, and there was another, oh, here's another one. Uh, Nicole Rhodes. So Nicole, Nicole is a health and beauty Christ follower, NASM CPT. She probably has some sort of training, lover of truth, real life results, health and wellness coach. Oh, and she also distributes Neora, which is a, is a, is a MLM company. So she's got 1700 posts, a thousand followers. And you can see that, I mean, <clears throat> anytime anybody's doing this, I don't even do this and I should in that, that uh, your quick links on your IG, I need to do that, by the way, stupid that I haven't, you know that they're playing more serious. Quick links on your IG are the, these links right above your posts. And they basically get you to, they're her offers, okay? Oh, number one, wellness. Oh, great. Here's my wellness pack. And she's got a story. Look at that. She's got a story, boom, involved in wellness. Why have I not done this, by the way? So uh, Freebie Friday. She's got a, 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 like, you know, she's got something on Freebie Friday. Do this. It's an offer, right? Um, I lost her. Uh her dog, firm cream. You want a firm cream? Here's a firm cream offer. Here's something you should be doing on your IG. That, and I, I need to too. You should put your offers with products that you have. You should create. That's one positive thing you can do on your IG account. Um, I have a distributor who I enrolled, D. Peter. She's not super active right now, but I found her in Clubhouse. She found me in Clubhouse too. She, follow, she followed me to Instagram followed my link tree, right? Link tree is my offer. And she filled out the, the money survey and I enrolled her, okay? But link, this is faster than link tree. This is your embedded offer on Instagram. You should do that. You should absolutely spend an hour and have an offer. If you don't have an offer, then how can you solve the problems of the people who are ready willing and able to have their, their, their problem solved. So she's Does got- Does the offer take you somewhere? Does the it, offer direct them? Uh, yeah, so like uh, she's got one called a giveaway. You push on that and it's it's actually a, her, it was a story that she did. I need to figure out how to do that. She probably went in her archive and archive, look, she's got boom, 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 right? And in there, in there is somewhere, right? In there is somewhere where it says probably- click on this or DM me for this, but you know, it might not be the point of sale link to my site. Although guess what? You've got, how much room do you have here? I mean, you can, and actually, by the way, her offers, you can scroll on these offers. See, she's got more, but there's, there are one, two, three, four, five. There are five offers that automatically come up there. So we could do something like eyes weight just go across your friends and family air yeah you could do a whole story for example like i'm just going to look at hers here she's got a wellness pack so i clicked on i clicked on wellness weight may said weight management wellness okay there's no sound before 90 days so these are before and after pictures of her company's uh weight management product so I'm going through, there's like 15 pictures, okay? Uh, oh, then she so shows the picture, the product, right? Oh, link in my bio. Oh, hold on. Uh, so it says three, a website, a three, two, one, go website link for all products in my bio, okay? And she's got, and, and again, what she's done here is, Look how this is an offer. This catches your attention. So basically what she's done is she's saying wellness. Oh, you caught that. There's an offer there. You're interested in wellness. You jump in Oh, before and after, before and after, before and after. If you keep on going down those 12, you're, you're giving, you're giving, she's giving and you're, re you're recipient. It's ping pong. If you stop clicking and don't look, the game's over and that's okay. But here's the deal. She's not doing anything right now. She created this 
set this up. And now I'm the one <laughs> who's looking. So check this out. She then shows you the products. Oh, so you it's a it's a story. Weight management, all these before and after pictures. There's the product. And then, oh, three, two, one, link in my bio, go. And then. Okay, here it is. What you do is slide this guy off. You got all three of them inside. Super, they're upside down. Super easy. This is the collagen. It's a big fat box because they um, they're like fatter. These guys oh, like this. This is the block and balance. This is the one that helps your appetite. That's it. That's it. As you can see, there's a little time, but not a ton of time. I mean, she wasn't like picture perfect. Oh, let me adjust the camera. So my recommendation is start slow, start small. Okay. One product. Don't worry about doing three. Don't worry about maybe doing tri synergizer. Keep it really tight. If you've never done this, do it with Protanum and RF2 or something else. Like do it with whatever you're passionate about. I'm focusing on activate NRF2 primarily, right? Um, but do it with that. Okay, so here, so you have, you build the story, you build the need, see Barbara, you build the story. Why is this important? Maybe you put the one pill that's the, the most important health, you know, health promoting pill in the world isn't a supplement, it's an activator. Oh, hey, that's a darn good idea. I've never even thought about that. Hey, the what you know, I mean, imagine you could do this. You could either still shot it, picture with text, right? Still shot, picture. The text says the most important supplement in the world isn't a supplement. Dot dot dot. Or like this. Right. Next picture. It's actually an activator. Five little herbs that activate 37 trillion cells. Next picture. Blowing my mind that the secret is inside, is activating my body. Okay. Three still pictures that I just did there. Or you could do a 30 second video. Okay, guys. So here's the deal. Something I'm learning. Something I'm learning I'm passionate about. You know, the number one supplement, the number one research supplement in the world right now that actually is proven to reduce damage in the human body isn't a supplement. It's not a supplement. It's actually an activator. Five little herbs have been proven to activate you. Who would have thunk the secret to your health is inside of you? This is like, this is like watching National Treasure, but the secret code is inside the human body. That's what this is. I mean, folks, I'm totally right now promoting my business, right? This reminds me of a reel, a reel I saw recently. How can you promote your business if you don't talk about your business? How can you promote your business if you don't talk? About, if you want a business, you got to talk about your business. In order to have a business, you got to talk about a business. I don't know if you've seen that reel, but I've seen that a couple of times. It trended a couple of weeks ago. So I just gave you a, a, a mega awesome idea for a story, okay? You convert that story into a, a static post, by the way. You make a static post. You know what I mean, a post. Just like a regular old post, what we were doing five years ago when that's all there was, right? Uh, you post that as well, because you want it there. In Facebook, in Instagram as well. It's an Instagram, what do they call them? Anyway, the Instagram videos. So you do what I just did, either still shots, right? Or the video, depending on how you want to do it. And then... And then you say, and then you show the pill and maybe a couple of other, you know, maybe, maybe you know, maybe, maybe it's one, one clinically proven da, da, da. Then you show, then you show real life results. 
again, this is where stories is really helpful. You're going to create a story today, you know, today, tomorrow, and all of these little things are going to be part of the story. Does that make sense? You're going to story. And then, so you've got, let me, let, so right now we're at one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, like three, uh, your intro, one, two, three, the shot of the pill again. So they know exactly what it is. Five herbs, natural approach, activating the human body, not a supplement, right? Boom, 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 boom. That's page number four. Page number five, testimonial. Page number six, testimonial. Page number seven, listen, if they're here at page number six, they're going to go through a couple of tests. That's why a lot of times on these, these offers, and, and even in your stories, you're going to the end of the story to see what? To see who loves you, right? To see who loves you. Because if they stuck around for 21, guess what? There's a good chance they're going to be there for 22. Those are your peeps. So we're on page now 789. And on page 10, you take a picture, you take a, a little video of you opening the box, you know, or, or of you opening the bottle. So here it is. The number, this is my number one go-to. And it's really this simple. I wasn't a pill taker. Here's where your story comes in. All the things that Ann and I are teaching, right? And we're implementing about storytelling rather than saying, buy my pill. So here's the deal. I'm a horrible pill taker. In fact, I saw this pill. I got really scared. I wonder, you know, like, am I really going to remember this? But I just take this. I, I, I set this on my, on my counter. I set this on my vanity. I set this, you know, my bathroom. And every, every morning, I know the number one thing I'm going to do is I'm going to pop this pill. Oh, and you take the pill. Count that you, you counting one, two, three, 37 trillion cells activated. DM me, DM me uh, for order details. Or you know what you can do in, in, in stories? You can actually, and do you know this? You can actually put a link in your stories, right? You can put a link in your story. So what if you do this? You go to your shopping cart. You go to your shopping cart, you fill the shopping cart, right? With one bottle of protandum or three bottles of protandum. That's what I would do if I were you. Okay. <laughs> three bottles of protandum, fill it, and then you can save that shopping cart link, right? We have capacity to do that. Save the shopping cart link. You go back to your stories, you're creating your Instagram story, and you uh, you do text, uh, you do link, okay? You do the drop down for, for all those options. Like, do you want music? Do you want a poll? Do you want a question? Link is one of those in there. Then you go there and you put, insert that link and it, and it gives you an activated embedded link. You post that link big in here, get yours today. It's pointing to this, okay? And then they can order the link. Now, here's the cool thing. You're gonna create this story. It's gonna be up today. It's gonna be up today. Then you're going to archive it to figure out how to, how do you, how do you save it and put it into this? How do you put it into the offer? Right. But can you see how powerful that is? Here's another idea. Wellness questionnaire, right? Put wellness questions and you have a link. This is super simple. Have a link to 10 questions. Actually you have a, a story. And again, this is a story you can put on your thing. This is how you're promoting your business. 10 questions you need to ask you that 10 questions that will determine the health of the rest of your life. The next page is a link to your rapid funnel questionnaire on, you know, on, on wellness. And you're going to know when somebody fills it out. Why? Because rapid funnel is going to tell you, right. But that like, I'm just thinking, duh. I mean, I like, I should, I should we should have, you, you need to have three offers. You need to have an offer on the table, but you need to have at least at least that page. So that's three, four, or five offers. Think about it. What are you offering? Uh, maybe it's a maybe it's a pet consultation. Professional, like like where can you offer? You know what I'm saying? I'm going to tell you right now what I'm going to do with my offers. I'm going to have a storytelling mat. Well, no, and I, I haven't decided in, in order yet. Like there's an order, like which one do you want to be first? In? Storytelling masterclass. I just put out that free content. It's the best two hours on storytelling anywhere in the world. I'm super proud of it. And it also leads into 
an email list, right? It leads in it. So I'm modeling for you what you can do with some of your expertise. Ann and I do that storytelling masterclass, master your story, master your impact. I, it's so fun. I mean, I, Heidi White reached out to me, like, Steph, the declaration, blah, blah, blah. oh my goodness, will you listen to my, like it's changing her. That two hour masterclass that I did totally for free, right? 100% for free, but I recorded it. It's value that I put out there, right? That leads into, if you want the masterclass, you have to give me your email address. I'm going to collect a thousand emails of people who want to master their stories, right? That email address can lead into a whole bunch of other things. I mean, I, I own an email address. Now, you don't have to do what I'm doing, by the way, right here. I'm just saying, if you saw Haley Hobson at Ascend, right, who's crushing it, that's how she built doTERRA, by the way, is this way. So we're giving you lots of avenues. You can only implement one at a time. So only implement one at a time, right? But masterclass leads to uh, email uh, email um, list. That's an asset. Leads to uh, Ann and I are doing a one day training, a one day intensive seminar, and I'm not doing that for free, right? Except for anybody in CEO, I actually am doing that for free. It's a two hundred dollar class. Ann and I are doing it giving anybody in CEO a hundred dollars off, right? Why? Because I'm giving everybody in CEO that I work with, you know, I'm giving you my time a whole day for free. I'm probably not going to do that forever because you can't give away your time for free and expect to be a great business woman, right? But you see how that masterclass, it leads into other value. It leads into other value. So I would be absolutely crazy not to have on my IG feed and my Facebook feed uh, and, and my, my offer. Does that make sense? For me as a professional network marketer and a guy that works with a lot of other people in a lot of other companies, it also made sense to have something that I can give away for free to every other single network marketer that I know that isn't going to get into life managed right now. Does that make sense? I mean, there, you know, I got a, a lady, Dr. Sarah just joined this new company four months ago. Is she going to quit that new company? She just quit her company. She was doing well in to start a new company. Is she a candidate for me right now? Probably not. So what can I give her? Well, I can give her my offers. Masterclass, seven steps to biohacking. Is that maybe applicable to her company right now? Yeah, maybe can I teach her something? Yeah, the document, by the way, guess what? Thanks for those of you who helped me edit that document. It's just about done. And Lillian, we got it nice and short to the point. I'm, I'm actually really excited about that. So I'm going to provide that to you, by the way. Okay, I'm going to provide that seven steps to biohacking. You're going to be able to use that, okay, as copy, right? Meaning text um, in your posts as ID generated, as a document, you're the creator, co-creator of that document, that can be an offer. Se seven easy steps to biohacking. And the step number two, step number one's mindset. Step number two, activation. Step number three, right? Nutrition, right? It's a whole bunch of things, but it's helping to funnel people. If somebody wants that, guess what? They're gonna have to have a conversation with you. Does that, does that make sense? That's an offer. What's another offer, right? Uh, world's number, uh, uh, well, keep it simple, wellness, how to be well, right? Number one wellness hack, my number one wellness hack, pro tandem, that's an offer. Do you see what I'm saying? So anyway, that's a little, uh, I guess we're doing, we're doing a social media power hour. That's what we just did. That's a little training. Um, and I, and I recorded this. So I will pop this up as well, but this is all literally from this reel that, oh, so what I was getting back to is this girl, Nicole, okay, she's got a thousand followers. So, uh, and by the way, she's selling something because, oh, <laughs> guess what? Interesting. She is, oh, duh, we already knew that she was from that company. Yeah. So she's from Neora company, right? So I'm going to reach out to her today and say, hey. Thanks for the love on my, our IG reel. You know, it really, you know what really does matter? What's on the inside, right? 
send, right? So I'm going to, I'm going to send my prepackaged thing, but then I'm going to modify it. Why? This girl knows what's important about what's on the inside. That's her business. Hey, I checked out your website. So you're doing Neora that, you know, tell me, tell me about your experience. I've been, you know, I've been in wellness for, for 30 years. You know, I'm an entrepreneurial wellness, you know, I'm a wellness entrepreneur as well. Um, Looks like you got a really good thing going. I'm super happy for you. Tell me about what you're doing, right? I have an offer for this girl. You know what that offer is? Master your, immediately. I mean, I've got a couple of offers. Master your story, right? By the way, I'm also, I did this master class. Anybody who mentors with me shares that master class, right? Like Florence has already been sharing it. She has a customer who wants to come. Now that's not maybe Florence's prod product, right? She didn't create it, but she's associated with me. She brings her people to it. It's not hers, but it's like you, you bring your friend dance. You didn't put on the dance. You're not the MC. They still have the relationship with you. Does that make sense? She's able to offer other network marketers an opportunity to see what her team does. Oh, wait. So your team, not only does your team stuff, but your team sponsoring this masterclass on storytelling and this one day intensive. It's like this. When you realize that somebody's an expert in their area, your trust for them goes what direction, north or south? North, right? So another one of these things that I'm sharing with you, all that I'm doing can either directly or you know, indirectly benefit your business as well to her. And that's the conversation I'm going to have. And, and it's going to be more than a just, hey, thanks for the follow. Nice to meet you. You know, what's the weather kind of a thing. And some of those, some of these, guess what? It's, hey, thanks for the follow. Thanks for the love. Nice to meet you. Where do you live? Because I got nothing here, right? But these two ladies, that came from this reel. Now, what I'm going to do is I'm going to close out Instagram. I'm going to reopen it up so it refreshes. And now I'm curious. Where's, where's my real count on this? I'm at 486. So I don't know what, it hasn't gone up a bunch, but since we've been talking, maybe a few. Um, I'm going to just check Every it out. You get dressed, Do I have any more likes? Oh, yeah. Die, My mother-in-law. Right. She, she, like, she liked Every it. Time you get oh, dressed, Debbie. Debbie McGillan from Canada. Die, Jen Smith, Pro 7. Ghost oh, outfit. wait a second. I don't even know this lady. Okay, so since we talked, another lady named Lindsay. A Lindsay who, and guess what Lindsay does? Any guesses what Lindsay does? Uh, well, looking at her profile picture, she's into piano, right? You can see the hands on the keys. Uh, Lindsay, disciple of Christ, wife, mom of four, pianist, teacher, friend. And guess what her Instagram's all about? Those are all pictures of pianos. She, she's new because she only has 14 posts. She has 578 followers. Guess what? She has some offers. What are what her offers are, right? Anyway, you kind of get the idea about how you, you can use Instagram a little more effectively, maybe how you can use Reels, okay, a little more effectively. Here's the number one way to, find, to make Reels more effective for you. Scroll through some Reels for five minutes and find three that, that makes you laugh your head off, okay? I'm not saying, oh, three strategic ones. Oh, this is going to be so good. The surest way, something that get laughter is one of the most powerful emotions in the world. If you're laughing your head off from a reel, go recreate it. Go re recreate it. Did you know you could do this? Last thing, unless you have questions. Um, I'm going to, so I'm going to open time up. Every you get dressed, remember that if you die. die. Uh, so I'm at reels. I'm going to take my left foot, right? And I'm going to go like this. All right. And then I'm going to take my right foot and go like this. And now I'm going to skip that. <laughs> take my Okay, that's kind of funny. I'm not super laughing my head off, but let's just say that I laugh my head off at this. Did you know that you can do this? <clears throat> three buttons, uh, the, the three dots. It says remix this reel. Did you know that you could remix reels? And watch this. 
the what's going to happen, I'm going to remix this, this reel. <clears throat> it's going to keep the original reel. I'm all about hands-on, you know that. So I'm going to remix this reel. And so it shows, it shows the lady in one screen and it shows me on the other screen. Okay. And then I'm going to hit record. I've got to turn my camera around. Okay. Boom. Done. I just made this silly reel in seven seconds. And you can't see my feet. That's a problem. Obviously, I'd redo this full body, but I just. I'm going to go like this. All right. And then I'm going to take my right foot and go like this, and then I'm going to go skedaddle. <laughs> I'm going to take my left foot. Right? I just created a reel. And I'm going to go like this. All right. So find something that you think is the funniest thing in the world and remix it and laugh. You're like, <laughs> you know, I mean, Anyway, those are some ideas for your uh, social media. Any questions, comments before we chill today? I have a question. Yes, Carolee. Okay, so I'm looking at my reels and I see the little sideways triangle with numbers. Like, yes. some have big numbers. What are those numbers? I have 9,300 on one. These are your reels that you've created or reels that you're looking at? My own. Okay, so let me show you. Um, you so you went to your reels like oops your reels like so you're looking at something like this right with all your reels right okay the triangle means play the number means how many times somebody watched that reel wow what are you seeing i see one with 9300 okay oh boy Woohoo! okay okay and this I is no real. 23 just so you know that's okay I yeah, no, but I'm just telling Carol Lee how good that is. It's the animal thing. <laughs> it is the animal thing. Carol Lee, so I'm telling you this, that the highest reel that I have on Instagram is 6,000. And, uh, and yeah, yeah. So, so here's the deal. Can you see the importance? Of, and by the way, can you see the importance of what we're doing with Anne? We're going to teach you how to tell stories and story structure. Okay, can you have the kids get the rice cooker out? We need to put rice on right now. Um, probably four cups on quick cook. I'll be right out to help. Um, can you see the importance of learning how to tell your story? So you're not just like posting reels and like, that's fun. 9,000 people watch that reel, which again, you have, it's a funnel. It's a funnel. If you have no, there was a hook on that reel or else people wouldn't have watched it. The hook it's what grabs people. It might've been a cute animal, right? It might've been, you know, whatever, right? Where is the call to action on that reel, right? And that's why we're gonna cover this, by the way, in the one day intensive, how to create calls of action. But the more you pick up, call that, what's the call to action? And I'm working on this, like you're catching me, like just starting call to action, DM me, DM me this, that's a call to action. Um, read the caption, that's a call to action. You can put that into your reels. Read the caption if you want people reading your message. Um, check, uh, you know, for more fun ideas, for more, for more equine humor, go to my, uh, go to my link tree, mm -hmm. right? For, for, for more equine life, for, for more, you know, you've got your, you've got your reel. It's funny. You've got your, oh, I love this, this, this horse. I love this dog. It was so funny for more. Here's a call to action for more equine life. Go to my profile. That's a call to action, right? Small call to action, right? And on your profile, guess what you have? Number one, equine health, right? Or, or equine health. That's it. Keep it simple, keep it known. Equine health on your offer. And what do you have in there? Uh, 12 pages, a 12 page story that you, that you saved, 12 page story on NRF2 in horses. And at the end of that, there's a, there's a call to action. And what is that? Your 
link to buy proteanum for equal, you know what I'm saying? So that's, Ooh. yeah, those numbers are the number of people who've watched it, okay? And then when you open it, then you've got, of course, that smaller number of people who interacted with it. And then below that, the number of people who commented on it, right? So okay. super, that, that's awesome. Carolee, I mean, that's, that's, that's big. Lillianne, did you have something? Yes, so one of the things I wanted to say when you commented about um, doing the real Stephanie, that it's a good idea because for us women in Facebook, the amount of friend requests from guys that, you know, come out of nowhere and it's yeah. just, you know, uh, uh, it, so that gives, uh, I think that gives people the or women a chance to say, well, you know, he's a married guy, so he's not going to be, you know, yeah. Yeah. about, you yeah. know, trying to go out with me or stuff like that, you know, whatever, because they see like, you're the most beautiful person I have ever seen in the planet, blah, blah, blah. And, you know, it's so ridiculous. You're right. Uh, it is part of my story right? It's yeah. part of my story. And it's part, it's part of making sure that I'm, that I'm attracting <laughs> that are, Stephanie and I are here to attract energetic, beautiful women. See you Carolee. We just want to make sure that you know what slot of, and, and what part of life we're going to attract beautiful, energetic women, right? It's a business. Yeah. Oh, here's Seth with his wife. So I, I'm, I'm not going to get, yeah, exactly. Exactly. Harassed. So yes. knowing your market, yeah, so knowing who I you're talking about. Yeah. I, th I thought that, you know, that was good. Cool. So second thing is if, um, for the new shirts, how much are they? And can we pay you and, are, and pick them up at activate? You can pay for them and activate, but you cannot pay for them before you cannot pay for them until you pick them up uh, based on your pre-orders. I'm not, oh. we're already going to fill an order. We're filling an order with minimum request with, with, uh, you know, with the numbers that we need to to get the prices that we get um and you're just requesting and basically reserving uh you're making a a committed reservation on your shirt so you know that you're going to show up there and there's going to be a shirt with your not printed on it but there's going to be a shirt reserved in your size for you um so and that if we run out of a size that you know that you have yours Okay, so do the sizes run pretty much the same as the CEO? It's the same shirt. The same it's, shirt, okay. It's the okay. same shirt, V-neck, purple rush, um, and they're 15 a piece or three for 40. Uh, and, and they're 15 a piece or, th or any three items for 40. So we'll have all the other merchandise there as well. So if you want to pick up, something else the, any of the other hats that we've had anything from the past you're wanting to replace something you can bundle it so you don't have to order three purples um okay what was the other thing i was going to say anyway yeah so oh if there if, if there is another shirt that you're wanting again same thing you want to make sure we have the size we we can take like if we if we need a gray shirt because we don't have a gray medium like we're we got varied inventory on whatever right and and uh i mean we're not we're not a merchandise company i only do this so that you all can have the most amazing advertisements and we keep some on hand but we run out of stuff so if i'm out of gray mediums and you want a gray medium then i need to put it in with this order that we're placing you know if i don't have one i need to place it with the purples so that they can order a gray medium shirt and we can remember that for you too so okay um oh and then those um uh, so the activation whatever i want to call the handout it's not a handout but <laughs> you want you're talking about the so, activation okay. you're talking about this product sorry no. what was that oh i'm talking about what the offer the offer when you offer people so can we modify that for the dogs for the horses you know how to buy a hack your dog or whatever <gasps> five keys. you're talking about okay. the offer right? Yeah. Yes. So what I suggest is, and this comes down to what we've been talking about, knowing you, knowing who you are and why you're here. So, and who you help, who, oh, wow. Well, who you are, 
why you're here and who you're helping and how you're helping, right? So knowing that, knowing those three things, you should be able to have three or four very dialed in offers, right? And maybe, and here's where you start. You start with one, get one offer down. Who you are, why you're here, who you're helping and how you're gonna help them. That offer, you wanna, you know, the goal is, here's what I'd say, your goal is this week, you have that offer up. This week, in the next seven days, you know, um, you get that offer up on Instagram. So it's there. Okay, anything else? Well, this, this has been awesome because since I started tailoring to the thing with the dogs with cancer and then I'm on a mission to save 100,000 dogs. I mean, when I got that message clear, this is when all these people started, you know, coming in and they're, they're like almost automatically on board. Like, yeah, you know, we want to join you because it's, you know, it's my passion and it's also these people's passion. So it's, it's working magically to attract you know, the, the people that I want in, in my team and this lady, you know, she's written books and she has groups and she's invited me to the group. And, and now this other lady also is like the go-to person in Canada, um, for a lot of the holistic things and she breeds Vishlas and so it's, it's really, it is, it's just amazing. Um, but I, I was the lazy rabbit. I was paying a lot of money to have like a, an email marketing thing for my dog training business. And what I did is I quit that and I hired a social media manager. So basically now I take this information and I say, okay, you need to do this. So she's posting for me three times a week. And she's asked me not to post whatever, you know, until she gets the algorithm. She knows more about it than I do, but now yeah. I can go in with this and say, okay, let's I, work I need on enough. this. Yeah. And then the nice thing is she's a dog walker. Now she says, I just bought the book that you recommend. So she's in the same wavelength. Beautiful. So great. So thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. You're welcome. Amazing. I will see you all tonight on meetup. Yes. Yes, you will. <laughs> Make it great. We'll see you. Bye, Eileen. Come again.